In this section, we will start looking at search. This is actually the last category that we will see in the Azure Cognitive Services. With search, you can do all kinds of different searches, all based on the Bing search engine technology. You can search for images, videos, or you can even use an image to search for other images. We will be looking at some of these services and how to use them as we've done in the rest of the course. In this first video, we'll have a short reintroduction to search. We've seen it briefly earlier on in this course, but let's dive a little bit deeper into what search exactly is and what different services are available to you for use. As we've seen in other sections, here is the Azure Cognitive Services directory with all the different categories, and we have now landed on the search category. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see all the different services that are inside of the search category. For starters, we have the Bing Web Search. So this is just basically what the Bing search engine does. You can give it a search query and it will give you the results. In this case, it's ad free. So you can incorporate it into any kind of website that you want or any kind of form that you want. Basically rebranding the Bing search engine into your own application. Uh, of course, you will be paying for the actual search queries that you will be executing through this service. Next, we have the Bing Custom Search, which allows you to search through a certain website. So you can specify a domain or multiple websites, and Bing will search through only that website. So this is very easy to use whenever you want to incorporate a search engine for your own website, but you do not have the development capacity to implement your own. You can just use this Bing Custom Search to index your own application or website, and you can use this to let your users leverage the power of actual Bing, uh, but just for your website instead of getting all kinds of results that are not relevant to them. Then we have the Bing Video Search. With that, you can search for certain videos. So Bing also indexes videos and you can search for a specific something that is seen in a video. So you can just say, I want to search for dogs and it will only give you videos of dogs because through the custom vision artificial intelligence, uh, Bing can automatically detect dogs in a video. So it can automatically get you the right results. And also it combines it with the description that is with a video or the title of the video, and it will give you the relevant search results, but just in video format. Actually, the same is true for images. So it will just send you images that have dogs on them or have some kind of description that indicates that it has to do with dogs and it will show you only the images. Then here at the bottom, we have the Bing local business search. So this will just search for businesses that are around you that are very local. So you can supply it with the location and it will search for businesses that are in your surrounding location. So with this, you can search for coffee places in Amsterdam or I don't know, bakeries in Paris, something like that. And it will give you a list of all the establishments that are relevant to your search query. So you can use this in, uh, for example, an app when you're traveling around and you want to find a certain business around you and you can leverage this service to find that actual business in your vicinity. It is still in preview, so it's not perfect yet. It probably only works for American things right now. So it will improve over time and uh, probably become generally available uh, in the near future. If we then continue here from the bottom, we also have the Bing Auto Suggest. So if you have used the Bing search engine before, when you start typing, it will already suggest some search results for you. So this is basically the service that provides that to you as well. You can use this in any text box or any other form to generate auto suggest items while you're searching. So you can already filter out what you want to search for when you actually fire the query. Then we have the Bing news search. So this is basically the Bing search engine, but very specific to news items. So you will only search through news articles that you can find on the bigger news websites, and you will just find news articles or things that have to do with the news. And it will also help you identify some trending topic identification. So you can see news items that are trending at this moment. So what is going on in the world? This service can tell you just that. Then right above here, we have the Bing Entity Search. So an entity is basically something that is common knowledge. So you can search for celebrities or you can search for landmarks or you can search for a certain event in time. You can use this service to search for this certain entities. Also, we've actually seen this before. I think with the computer vision service, you can search for a certain image and it will describe what is in that image. And it can also detect the entities in that image. So it will automatically link you with the entities and link you through to the Wikipedia page that is relevant to this entity. So here you can see again, the cognitive services all place nicely together and you can come up with amazing things if you combine the right services. 
Then lastly, at the top here, we have the Bing visual search. So with this, you can send it an image and it will find you matching images. So that is different from the Bing image search where you input text and it will find images that correspond to that text. With this service, you will actually specify an image and it will find you images that are very similar to that image. And you can do all kinds of things with that. So like identification of products, for instance, you can send it an image of a sweater that you like, and it will find similar sweaters that you might even like more. So this can be very useful when you have some kind of e-commerce app or website to find similar images and similar products. You know, you can come up with something of your own uh, if you have a bigger imagination than I have. So that was it, the introduction for search. You have now seen what all the services in the search category look like. They are all based on the Bing search engine technology, which is very powerful. And again, you can leverage this from the Azure Cognitive Services without any big effort. These are just REST APIs. You can use them from wherever.